Welcome to Rapid Fire. This week's question is, what's your favorite snack food? Shrimp cocktail. Welcome to our weekly news program, The Buzz. I'm your host, Nicole Capofianco, and with me today is Mr. Hume. Hey, Nicole. Hi. How are you? Believe it or not, oh, I'm, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really good. Did you do anything for Halloween? Um, I just went trick-or-treating since it was school the next day. What, what was your costume? What you I dress was up um, as? Silver Mist from Tinkerbell. Yeah. I'm going to have to go look that one up. I'm not familiar. <laughs> Did you do anything fun for Halloween? Uh, I think I went mountain biking. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so not very Halloween-ish. <laughs> no, but it's still fun. Yeah. Believe it or not, quarter one comes to a close this Thursday, November 9th. That means all assignments from weeks 6 through 10 are due no later than 11.15... 59 on Sunday, November 12th. All right. That's right. And also, Nicole, we uh, have to remember that we don't have any school on Friday. That's this Friday, November 10th. So if anybody needs help with missing assignments, they should talk to their teachers today. Good point, Mr. Heem. I know I'm going to make it a point to stop by the, the drop-in center this week to get some help with a few assignments. That's a great idea. Uh, so let's just review real quick. Again, Thursday is the official end of the quarter. Friday, we don't have school. And Sunday, all the work from week 6 through 10 are due. So what's happening on Monday? Great question, Mr. Heem. Monday, November 13th is a school day. So you should log in as normal. However, since our teachers have to complete all quarter one grades for over 1,100 students that day, there are no live classes. Instead, you'll have an asynchronous assignment available in each of your classes. Well, thanks for clearing that up for us, Nicole. I wouldn't want to be marked absent for that day. Hey, did you hear that there was an event happening on Monday as well? Yes, I did. did if you're looking to earn some ACT 158 hours, consider joining our upcoming Veterans Volunteer event on Monday, November 13th. We'll meet at the Southeastern's Veterans Center in Spring City, PA from 12 to 4 p.m. During the afternoon, you'll have the chance to thank our veteran, veterans by making personalized items for them by using our mobile makerspace. That sounds like a lot of fun and a great way to earn some ACT 158 hours. I just found out another great event for our AHCCS students is coming up in the Pittsburgh area. You can actually join the Sciences Everywhere event, and that's happening on Tuesday, November 14th. So the following week, you'll probably hear about that in the buzz next week again. Um, and it is being held at the Sailors and Soldiers Memorial Hall in Oakland, which is a neighborhood in Pittsburgh. Of course, if you're from Pittsburgh, you already know that. Well, anyway, be sure to check your Schoology page if you need more info on that. Uh, now, that reminds me of a riddle. Why was the science teacher angry? Hmm, that seems appropriate. Hmm, I don't know, why? I don't know either. We have to wait and see. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll tell you next week. All right, getting back to our news, is there anything else students should be thinking about this week? Uh, as a matter of fact, there is. So students are invited to submit their original designs for this year's school-wide mosaic project logo. Now, you have a chance to earn 25 Buzzy Bucks for your design, and the winning logo is going to be featured on this year's T-shirt. Imagine your original artwork could be worn by students across the state. Now, all entries are due by Monday, November 13th, and voting is going to take place on Wednesday, November 15th. The information is available on Schoology and your future entry course page. Don't miss out. That's very cool. Did you also know you can create your own Thanksgiving parade balloon float? It's true. The third annual virtual Thanksgiving parade hosted by our PTO is just a few weeks away. All students are invited to participate, so register on Schoology this week. You'll receive info and supplies after you register. 
And a quick reminder to get your pizza orders in this week for our Little Caesars fundraiser. You can purchase a bread and pizza kit, cookie dough, and or an in-store meal deal voucher to support the PTO. Funds raised will support our annual senior dinner and other in-person events. The link to order is posted on Schoology. That's great. As always, there is a lot happening this week, and make sure you check your Schoology homepage each day to find out the latest news and updates to any of the information that we've shared here today. And also, please encourage your parents and guardians to log on as well, because there's some news and information available just for them. And fall parent-teacher conferences are coming soon to speak of one of those. So right. let them know to be on the lookout. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our show for this week. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks for watching and having a great week. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh.